All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second episode of uh, CFW. We, of course, had the Big Bang, which, of course, ended with uh, Luthes being beaten down by the Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. Um, we also crowned a World Heavyweight Champion and in a tournament. And then we had introduction of Nick Kozak and... Buddy Rogers as well wrestled earlier in the night. And unfortunately, I had too many just with the whole um, angles. I think in hindsight, maybe I didn't need to have Book Abdullah beat down Thor. And then, by the way, an introduction here is just going to be a little bit of out of character stuff before we get into uh, the wrestling. But and unfortunately, it made our TV unhappy which could be really damning for us um, in the event. So this is good for us in that CSW has released uh, to rest two of our workers. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, it should be good. Now, like I said, comment down below. In terms of what would you guys like to see? Uh, in terms of like how much you want to be involved in the creative process with the like, do you guys want to know everything I plan on doing with my storylines, or do you want to kind of just subscribe to the show's go? Um, I'm thinking like at the end of every month, I'll kind of do what my overall vision for the month is, but. Other than that, let you guys know. Now, obviously, we've been gone for a bit, and that is just for the reason of I've been busy. And then when I wasn't busy and maybe had a night where I could have recorded a podcast, unfortunately, Bray Wyatt passed away, and I just wasn't up to make wrestling content for the next couple days. I was a big fan of Bray Wyatt, the creativity he had. I'm almost getting a little bit emotional talking about it right now. It's... Yeah, I just shout out to Wyndham Rotunda. I think one of the greatest creative visions of all time that we're not going to see truly how much he's influenced the wrestling industry um, until like 10 years down the line. Truly an all time performer in wrestling with the Firefly Funhouse. Uh, I know the Shield versus the Wyatt family is some of the most invested I've ever been. In a promotion. So before we get into this, since this is wrestling content, days removed, shout out to Bray Wyatt. And while I'm not as devastated because he lived an amazing, happy life, you couldn't ask for many better lives. Um, Terry Funk, obviously, it's tragic that he passed away. Um, I'm more happy with the life Terry Funk got to live than sadness that it's come to an end. Um, that's just kind of how I am, but uh, it is sad. My heart goes out to the Funk family. I know he had a wife and many kids. So, But other than that, on that somber note, we'll get back into much less important things, which is a playthrough of TEW and the Canadian Federation of Wrestling. Uh, so just to kind of recap, we're going to get two episodes in the next two days, and that is going to be we have the pilot episode of CFW Live, and then the bit, then we have the Canadian classic. I forgot there was a spoiler for where we're headed. Um, so we have the Canadian classic, and then we have CFW Live. So we will do all of CFW Live before the Canadian classic. Um, we'll record all of that, and then I'll record the Canadian classic tonight, and that'll go up tomorrow. And I will try to record two weeks of CFW live for you guys, um, just so we can balance everything in terms of my creative, uh, in terms of, you know, just speed running things. Because obviously I want to do like um, what would be an equivalent of WrestleMania 40 in 2023 as a series finale, just so you guys know where the series is going, um, which is probably a year or two away of doing this so i do want to speed run a lot of stuff but so we're gonna to have to try to make up time and you know if we do have to go at a steady pace 
it is what it is, but, you know, let's just have fun. You know, there's no rush. There's going to be a lot of entertaining wrestlers, you know, like Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, uh, Roddy Piper, who we do have signed. Obviously, he was in a rookie showcase. But, yeah, let's get into this. I'll see you guys when I do uh, the episode of CFW Live. So see you guys soon. All right, welcome back. And let us begin with the pilot episode of the Canadian Federation of Wrestling Live, or CFW Live. Um, this is the pre-show match. Jackie Johnson defeats uh, Roddy Piper uh, with a drop kick. So, you know, a rookie showcase, even though Rocky Johnson isn't really a rookie, but Dusty Rhodes was unavailable for this taping. So, of course, Dusty Rhodes took his place and it was a way to showcase how Roddy Piper is. All right, let's move on to the main show. And, of course, we have to um, address the elephant in the room right off the bat and instead of fired it's suspended so this is the type of thing that i had in the database um so basically um uh the authority the owner of cfw says that as a condition to attack on Lucas, buddy rogers has indeed been suspended um for his actions we cannot have it is unacceptable to have wrestling suspended uh, however, on a more positive note, our next big show in a CFW live special, it will be we will have a tournament called the Canadian Classic, where we will have a final winner. The whole show will be an eight-man tournament for our next special. So, and next up in a solid match, uh, it was uh, Abdullah the Butcher. He defeated uh, um, Pancho Picho in. Dominate in dominating fashion, dragged it on for 10 minutes, just vicious. Um, basically, as well as taunting Thor Hagen, who of course couldn't be here after being beaten down by Abdullah the Butcher. So, you know, just a very Abdullah the Butcher making his thoughts clear on coming for the, the CFW Canadian Heavyweight Championship. So, Will he get it? We'll see. Of course, we'll, we'll continue to see how this goes. But yes, of course, the door of the butcher. I, you know, obviously won't have the title be defended at the next big special, but uh, definitely um, that storyline and that tension continues to grow. Next up, we have a match with solid wrestling, a 39 segment. Errol Sakata uh, fell to Nick Kovac, a British Columbia hometown player here. And in the next segment, he basically says, it's not a bad thing for me, it's a no win. He basically talks about how much winning the Canadian Classic would indeed mean to him. He is, uh, you know, a very big fan. He says this, is, this Canadian Federation of Wrestling could be very special and that he wants to win the first ever Canadian Classic. He really seems split down on this one. So. Uh, next up in our main event for tonight, Killer Kowalski versus Sam Steamboat. A uh, rating of a 44. We should hopefully keep the network happy. A lot of people seem to like this match. Uh, Killer Kowalski won with the tiny knee drop. And, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, so uh, very vicious for Sam Steamboat. And as it continued, he uh, was beaten down by Sam Simba and Nick Kozak, of course. Uh, the Canadian Classic tag team begin to mount maybe two participants in the Canadian Classic, Killer Kowalski and Nick Kozak. Uh, Nick Kozak thrown to the ring and, uh, you know, basically saved Sam Simba as those tensions begin to mount, and we shall see how everything goes from there. And, uh, yeah, so there we go, 47. Uh, very good for us, very good. We needed to keep the network happy. Uh, definitely a lot better than the Big Bang, as our promotion continues to grow here. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this works out. So that's it for this edition, and I'll cover episode two here uh, in a minute. So see you guys for that one. Everyone, welcome to the second episode of CFW Live as we have 
Roddy Piper versus Terry Funk in the Rookie Showcase match. And Terry Funk and Roddy Piper, they only have six popularity. But if we can boost that up, those guys are going to be workhorses for us because that is a really good match for their popularity. Holy. And now on to the main show. We have a debut. And that is Angelo Poffo. Angelo Poffo basically says the Canadian Federation of Wrestling, uh, you know, he wants to achieve things here. There's an upcoming tournament that he may want to participate in. We'll, he will see if he's worthy of it. And also, there is a title in the Canadian Heavyweight Championship. Maybe he can put his cap in. Whether or not it will be, we shall see, but uh, definitely making his ambitions known, Angelo Papo. Uh, next up, you know, just a 30, but that's fine. You know, Angelo Papo is a little bit older, and uh, but, you know, he is over and everything, so um, is what it is. So Next up, we have uh, Guy Brunetti uh, def- winning in a patriotic way, feel-good moment. Um, so, yeah, well, just, uh, I mean, that's the way it is right now. And next up, we have uh, Killer Kowalski and Jerry Kozak. Basically, Killer Kowalski uh, was very angry at uh, the idea of him, um, uh, you know, v- Jerry Kozak. Uh, Killer Kowalski was very angry at Nick Kozak, so he tormented his brother. Just beat him down, beat him down, and the referee had to stop the match. He's basically saying, get the hell out of my way because I am here to, you know, achieve all kinds of things here in the Canadian Federation of Wrestling. Get the hell out of my way. And then that's it. And next up, we have the debut of uh, Luthez finally getting something to say with Buddy Rogers suspended. And basically, Luthez has come in saying he has come to the Canadian Federation of Wrestling to finish his career. I am maybe the greatest professional wrestler of all time, is what Luthez is saying. And I came here to achieve glory, meet some old foes, have a good time. You know, I've won the NWA title many, many times. I've won other world titles so many times, won tournaments, won battle royals. And, you know, for... Buddy Rogers to be upset about a loss he took eight years ago, nine years ago, is insane. And he thinks, you know, if Buddy Rogers wants a piece of him, he will make it very clear that he's coming for it. And yeah, basically, Luthez really coming for um, uh, making himself known. He's very angry at Buddy Rogers. And we shall see how things go from there because. Uh, Buddy Rogers and Luthez seem to be on a collision course here. Uh, So that's it for this episode of CFW Live. Actually, now we'll see how successful the show was. And we get a 45. Very good. So um, not as good as last week's. But, uh, you know, like I said, we've learned from our mistakes. We had three promos. But then instead of having a promo match, promo match with the show ending with Luthez's debut... Um, I decided to just have match, match, match. And then if we're going to have some storytelling, storytelling to close out the show. But that's very good. You love to see it. And now I'll see you guys for the go home show of the of CFW Live. All right, everyone. So breaking news regarding the future of CFW. Um I uh, kind of am a little bit in shock, but this is why I love the game, because you kind of got to book around things in the future. So I won't reveal anything super, you know, spoilery or anything like that or what I was thinking. But um, we have some breaking news, and that is that uh, Luthez has announced that his uh, in-ring career is coming to an end. Um he is preparing for himself for a new career backstage, but uh, his next three months of dates is it. Um, this is it for Luthez. Um, Luthez's career. We shall see how it goes. A lot of wrestlers seem to be retiring, so we only have Luthez, and as you know, um, obviously. I've built the first three CFW shows in history 
around Luthez. Um, I, I don't know if the game, how the Hall of Immortals work, um, but right now it's empty, so there's that. But, um, like, obviously, I potentially had plans longer than three months for Luthez, but, yeah, Luthez has announced his retirement, and so we had, so this month is February, so February, March, April, so after April, no more Luthez for uh, CFW, so um, how much this will affect my booking, I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, that that's, uh, that's going to be a blow, so it is what it is, and I'll see you guys um, for the once again, go home show for CFW Live, and then of course for I will also record tomorrow's episode, which will be the Canadian Classic. But just definitely an important item of note, and if it's like made public over here, and it's not regarding my plan specifically, you'll see. Um, I'll show you guys that. So first, at that at least. All right, everyone, welcome to the. Uh, Final episode of CFW Live before uh, the Canadian Classic and a pre-show match. Now, this is the opposite of Rookie Showcase with Angelo Paco, but it gives someone some experience with Terry Funk. You know, even though Terry Funk has experience on his own, it's just there for reasons. But, yeah, uh, they went with Angelo Poffo winning. I, I let the computer decide because it's a pre-show. doesn't affect any of our storylines on that. But to open the show, a 54, Nick Kozak defeated uh, Mike York in a very good match and everything. And uh, um, Yeah, so that's very good. You'd love to see that. Definitely very good. Nick Kozak, very good for his popularity. Mike York, I think, did well as well. These two guys work well together. Um, and basically... Nick Kozak uh, had to respond after his brother was taken out of action by Killer Kowalski. And he basically said, uh, you know, that, hey, th that was ridiculous. You know, you had a chance to win the match and you didn't. You can need to beat down my brother. Uh, you know, the only reason I interfered was because you attacked the opponent after the match. This is not what this company, what I feel professional wrestling in this company should be about. One of the key words in professional wrestling is professional. And I do not like how you treated my fellow employees. And I responded, and in response, you beat down my brother when I'm unfortunately not here. That is taking advantage. And you know what, Killer Kowalski? You will hear from this will, is not the end of this. We will probably meet in the tournament, and I will see you there. So, uh, net, uh, Nick Kozak basically showing Killer Kowalski this is not over. Next up, we have a WWWF Classic match between uh, Pat Patterson and Pedro Morales. Pat Patterson won with the Atomic Drop. Um, yeah, just generally a uh, uh, pretty solid match. You know, doesn't affect any of his storylines, but just to put it on there to make it happy. Next up, Luthez, who of course is here on last week. A little bit of a wreck. Because it just makes sense with the alignment of Luthez um, announcing his retirement in the game and our show basically saying he's here to finish a career, accomplish as much as he can as the greatest of all time in all of wrestling. So basically, right now, Luthez comes out. He's saying, you know what? This is borderline retirement to where I've done it all. I want to wrestle someone else again, see what we can do. Um, and yeah, so Luthez coming out to wrestle again. Who accepts? But Gorgeous George Jr., uh, of course, the son of Gorgeous George, uh, he comes out and he basically says, uh, yeah, well, let's do this. You know, I agree with uh, Buddy Rogers. He shouldn't be suspended. And I'm going to continue to prove it. And can he? No, he cannot. Luthez wins uh, by submission with the STF. Um, and a decent match, you know, uh, Luthez really has been a champion in the Brazilian Classic with the upcoming Canadian Classic, the, you know, a potential Canadian Heavyweight Championship, all of that on the line. It is uh, going to be very interesting to see how it goes, but yeah, that's it for this edition 
of uh, week one of the Canadian Classic is coming up soon. It'll be very interesting to see uh, Luthez and what he thinks of... Uh, or no, it's been very interesting, you know, with uh, Luthez potentially retire, coming out with a potential retirement and everything. He, um, it's very interesting to see if he can pull off the uh, Canadian Classic. So, But that's it. 51 rating. I think this might be a bad idea. Regions. Uh, of course, it grew by one person, so really just tell here. Um, yeah, but that's it for this one, everyone. Obviously, some groundbreaking news. You can see our storyline starting to take shape. We currently have uh, three with the Canadian Classic build and the Luthez Buddy Rogers feud, and of course, the uh, it looks like Killer Kowalski and Nick Kozak have some tension. And Abdul the Butcher definitely wants that Canadian heavyweight championship. So that's it for this one, everyone. We'll see you guys for the Canadian Classic episode, which is going to be short time for me, but for you, it will be a while. Or, well, until tomorrow.